may be one of the best videos that I recorded because it means so much to me. Because in direct alignment, I'm someone who's completely self-motivated. And guys are always saying to themselves, how can I be somebody that becomes self-motivated in life? And what it is a lot of times is a guy just not knowing why he's doing the things he's doing in life. Him not knowing that uh, saying to himself, do this, do this, do this, is not enough. Him pushing for what he wants is not enough. But if a man can start to do inventory on himself, he'll come to certain things that'll give him the motivation that he needs. I must tell you guys that out of many people I've met in my life, one person who I absolutely know who is completely motivated is the person I'm going to see next week, which is Eric Thomas, but me. I'm somebody who's completely motivated in life. And I'm so motivated in life to do every single thing that I do. And my motivation never runs out. It never runs dry. I have a river that never runs dry and it runs deep as well. And the fact that it runs so deep, this is the reason why it never runs dry. I think one of the things that confuse men out in the world is knowing that they want to do something or having the desire to do something and not having the reasons for wanting to do that. It's so confusing for men to walk around this world or anybody to walk around this world and to consistently be in confusion about how can I motivate myself to do what I have to do. I think it's strange and it's, and, it's, and it's so stupid that there's not more things out there about helping people to become more motivated in life because I feel like with all the people who do become successful in life, the people who, be, who really just learn how to motivate themselves know the things that I'm gonna talk about in this video. So please guys, as you watch this video, I want you to really start to put your heart into whatever it is that you do in your life because that is my little trick that I'll tell you about later. So here we go. Motivation itself, saying to yourself, you know what, I gotta do this. Saying to yourself, you know what, okay, here's the thing, you know, I gotta do this, I gotta go out there and I gotta make sure that I do my shit and I gotta go to the gym, I know I gotta get my shit together, I know I gotta go do this, and just that attitude of positive thinking, and okay, I gotta think like this and I gotta do this, that attitude is not sustainable. It is not sustainable because you're always pushing. And if you're always pushing, that means that you're always using your will. And the fact that you're always using your will, meaning like the thing that can run dry in a day, means that it's gonna run out at some point. It's going to run out at some point because you are just at the surface level doing the things that you think you have to do to get yourself into a state, to get yourself into a certain mood. And it's not enough. It is not enough to just try to just talk yourself into something without having a strong reason beneath that. Just you saying to yourself, I gotta go do this, or come on man, get this shit together, you know, go approach this girl, you know, go, you know, get this business deal, you know, make sure that you, you know, go to your boss today and you do this, and make sure that, you know, if you're gonna go to the gym, that you, you get up tomorrow, that is not going to work. It's never gonna work. Because you'll always find yourself in a position where when you don't have the tools within to do something, you're gonna try the superficial layer of just saying this thing or watching this video and that's not enough man it's completely not enough and I've tried that in my life of just saying you know what I gotta do this thing I know I gotta get up right now because I gotta do this thing and me laying there and then falling back to sleep that has happened to me before in the past I'm not perfect I had to go through my trials and tribulations of not doing it and then learning why I didn't do it and then how I can do better next time and in doing that process over and over with everything in my life I've come down to simple things that I do that allow me to be successful, that allow me to be a person that's always motivated, to allow me to be someone that all that is always passionate about every single thing that he does. That's from the way that he does his meditation, from the way that he talks to women, to the way that he is uh, promising for the future, the optimism that I have, the, the knowing that I have for me being wealthy um, in life to be becoming more wealthy and being a wealthy man in my later years. <clears throat> and I don't know what later years mean, it's just I know that in my coming years, I definitely will be a wealthy man. And that's something that I know because everything that I do in life, I have strong reasons. And that brings me into this. You must have strong reasons for what you do. You must have reasons that run deep for what you do. If you do not have reasons that run deep, you will always, 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 
be pushing. The reason why reasons are so powerful, strong reasons are so powerful because they pull you towards what you want and so you don't have to push. They pull you. You need to be pulled by something for you to have uh, a sustainable passion. You need to be pulled by something for you to have sustainability inside of yourself to do whatever it is you want to do. To have full commitment to what you do, you must really be connected to the truths inside of yourself of why you're doing what you do. You need to be really connected to the heartfelt parts of yourself of why you do what you do. You need to be connected to it. Connected completely. You need to be like, all right, why am I wanting to be a man that's better with women? Why am I wanting to be a man that wants to run a business? Why am I wanting to be a man that needs to have health and fitness together? Why am, I, why am I wanting to be a man who is able to be flexible in his body and more relaxed? Why am I wanting to be a man, da 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 Why do I want to do this? What is the reasons beneath that allows me to uh, do the thing that I do? What's gonna keep me going in this thing when I know that I'm tired? And every single time that you're able to connect to that, what you'll be able to do, you'll be able to get the energy that you don't have in the moment. You'll be able to gather the energy that's not even there. Because the truth is, and this is one truth that I've come to, your whys give you the energy that you can't get from anywhere else. Your whys give you an energy that you cannot get from anywhere else outside of yourself. It, it just completely, you can't. Somebody can tell you all these things and that can get you pumped up. You can watch videos and that can get you pumped up. But the thing that's really going to be able to drive inside of you, the thing that's going to be really be able to get down to the core of who you are, is you being able to connect to the reason of why you do what you do. Connecting to that reason will be able to give you the energy that you don't have in this moment. And that's what I do all the time. So giving you examples from my life, you know, I used to want to, I used to want to be a person that helps men. And I still do, of course, but I used to be a person that had this reason. I was like, all right. I want to help men because I know I want to help them be the best version of themselves. That's why. I want, to have, I want to be able to travel the world because I want to be able to help men do the things that they have to do in life to be able to get the women that they want. I want to be a man who has his health and fitness together because I know I'll look sexy and I know I'll look good. And the fact is I have a lot of energy, I'll have vitality. And these things were good. But I had to really, really connect to what is the real reason for me doing the things that I do. What's the fucking real reason for me doing the things that I do? And the the, and the, the the way I was able to come to that is by doing inventory on myself. I had to get beneath everything that I thought was the reasons. And I started to go beneath. I started to be with myself. I started to go into meditation and introspection and really sit with what is the reason why I do what I do. What's the reason why? Why do I want to help men? Why do I want to travel the world and help men? Why do I want to be able to help men with women specifically? Why do I only want to help men? Why do I want to be a person that has his health and fitness together? I had to really look at these reasons. And the reasons why started to pop up. They started to pop up. I had to let go of what I thought was the reasons and really connect to what's the truth of the reasons why. And this is scary because a lot of people don't want to see the truth of the reasons. Maybe the reason is that you're afraid and that you don't want to be alone. Of course, you need to fucking turn that around so that you're not needing anything from women. But maybe that's the reason why initially you want to do it. And then along the time, you start to understand that's not good enough. So coming back to me, the reason that starts to pop up to me, for me was I want to be a man who you know, didn't fall into the wrong things that my brothers did. With my brothers, they fell into wrong things as far as with women. All of my brothers have went to jail because of their woman. They have, and it's, and it's, and um, I don't want to say that, but all of them have, and that's been completely a wake up call for me. They've chosen the wrong women in many ways, and they had to learn from it. And some of them are still learning from it. My brother, he's still in prison right now, he is. So I know that that's one reason why I do what I do, because I know that if I don't be a, be some, be a man in life, who goes after what he wants and be able to attract women to him that mirror who he is and that mirrors healthy things inside of himself, I'm gonna attract the unhealthy woman to me because I'm unhealthy. So I had to first build myself up. I had to first start going inside myself and going, okay, this journey of course is 
for me going out there and uh, getting women. But what's more important than that is me becoming the man that attracts women to me who I who can really benefit my life and me benefit them in a really healthy way. Because I've seen unhealthy uh, relationships out there. Ever since I grew up, everything was unhealthy. So, and still now, when I go back home, it's still unhealthy. So, my real reasons start to come in. Like, if I didn't do that, I would absolutely end up with the wrong woman in my life. I would absolutely go to jail at some point because the women that I were attracted in my life when I was younger, when I was little, I was attracting women who would hit me. Really? I was attracting women who had a lot of baggage in their life. And I was wondering why was I attracting that to me. It was because I was a white knight. I had that white knight mentality of wanting to save every woman. So I had to go, okay, I don't want that anymore. I really don't. I don't want to be a white knight anymore. I don't want to be a man who goes out there and has to take on the baggage of other women and be just accept everything that they're giving me. Just accept the woman having uh, verbal violence for me or a woman being somebody who is uh, completely nasty for me. I didn't want that anymore because I saw that through my mom and dad. I saw that through my aunts and uncles. I saw that through uh, my brothers and their relationships, my sister and her relationships. Every single thing told me that it was unhealthy, but I had to find a way for healthy inside of myself for me to re really be able to attract women to me who are healthy for me. And that was difficult, it was, because everything around me was showing me that everything was unhealthy, but I just had the strength inside of myself and the desire to want to follow something different. Because I didn't want to be that man who completely fell into the trap of being with the wrong woman. And then it was another thing of my health and fitness, and I was like, alright, if I want to get my health and fitness right, I need to be somebody who completely is doing this for the right reason. Because at first it was like, okay, I have like a little stomach and I want to get rid of it. And it wasn't really a real little stomach, it's just that I wanted a six pack and I wanted to be able to breathe and not have my stomach be so big when I breathe. And I was just like, my whole childhood years, I struggled with having a big gut. And my brother used to make fun of it and stuff and I, ha I hated it at some point. And I was like, all right, what is the reason, real reason for me doing having a good health and fitness? And the real reason for me ha having a good health and fitness, and even more today, is so that I don't get fucking diabetes like my grandma. Or so that I don't fucking um, end up with high cholesterol like my family do. Like I, do, I don't want these things. And I was like, okay, what do I want? I want to be somebody who has the energy. I want to be somebody who completely is eating healthy and being able to walk through life with clarity on the inside. I want to be that. I want to be somebody that's more present to life and that don't always get full every time I eat. So then I lose energy and I get fucking tired because I get full when I eat. That was the thing for my whole years growing up, my childhood years, it was getting fucking full and then not being able to do things and, you know, having a little sleep and a little nap every single time I did it. And there's so many other reasons to everything I do and bringing it back to you guys, why do I want to travel the world and help men? Why do I want to help men, first of all? Why do I only want to help men? The truth is, is that my dad, of course, as you heard in my other videos, he has schizophrenia and I was like, he wasn't able to handle my mom and he went into a mental breakdown. And the fact that he did that, I know that if I didn't help men in the world, guess what would happen? More when men out there will be going into these things of mental breakdowns. They'll, they'll not be able to understand their women and the women will walk all over them and men won't have the masculinity to be able to stand up to women who are deep into their feminine. So I have to understand, okay, if I want to be a man that can empower the world and help men come into their masculinity and be able to provide a space for women to be their feminine, I have to first do that. So my why became, okay, I must, my why became, I gotta do what I do. And I do what I do because I know that if I'm an example, I can teach other men to be an example. And why do I wanna be an example? Because if I was teaching men how to do that and I couldn't do it, then I would be a fraud to myself. And of course, I have a lot of integrity, so that pushes away from the whole word of fraud. I'm like, fuck that. I have too much integrity for that. So my reasons run so deep, and my river runs so deep inside of myself because I'm connected to everything that I do. And this brings me to the reason my motivation never runs out. The reason my motivation never runs out is because I am part connected to everything that I do. Every single thing that I do in life, every single thing that I do, I'm hard connected to. From coaching, to the gym, to the women that I meet, to the reason why I, I coach, to the reason why I travel the world, 
into making these videos, everything I do is heart connected. To the food that I eat, everything I do is connected first to my heart, which means that the decision is heart made. I make the decision from my heart. My heart is in everything that I do. When I'm going into the, to the grocery store, when I'm going to Whole Foods, which is right across from me, when I walk into there, my heart tells me what to buy. It does. And I fully go with what my heart tells me. And if my heart tells me don't buy this other thing, I won't do it. Sometimes my heart tells me to buy cashew milk ice cream because I love ice cream. And I've let go of regular ice cream, but I've come to love almond milk ice cream or particularly cashew milk ice cream. But sometimes I have that shit three days in a row. But then other days I'm like, my heart's telling me right now, don't get it. Because I know that if I get it right now, it might be too much sugar. And this time my heart telling me to get this yogurt and not this yogurt, even though they're the same yogurt. And I'm insane like that because I'm like, my heart is connected to every decision that I make. That's why my river always run deeper and deeper and deeper. And I'm always evolving and changing and I have passion for everything I do because my river runs deep. My heart is connected to every single decision that I make. So the fact that it's connected to every decision that I make, I am able to have passion for everything that I do. And that's what I want for you guys, to have passion for everything that you do. Everything from the women you speak to, everything from the gym, everything from your business, everything from why you do what you do in life, everything. Just have your heart connected to everything so that it's easy for you to do these things. Why is your heart in going to the gym? Why do you want to do that? Really connect to your heart. Is it because you want the energy to be able to go throughout your day and not get druggy, not get draggy? Why is your heart connected to wanting to talk to women? Is it because you want to eventually bring women into your life um, in open relationship situations? Do you want to just go out there and sleep with as many women as you can because that's something that really, really pushes you because you know that you want uh, abundance of feminine into your life? Does your heart tell you that? What is it the reasons that are connected to your heart? And what does this require? It requires you letting go of the opinions of others and why do you do what you do? It requires you letting go borrowed knowledge, as I've talked in my other video about finding your truth. I learned that whole idea of letting go of borrowed knowledge from Osho. And it's helped me completely. Letting go of everybody else and just going within in your heart and going, okay, why do I do what I do? Why am I doing this thing? What is the heart reason for me doing this? This is how I stay motivated all the time. This is how I can get up every single day, man. This is right before workshop. I start workshop today. I'm on a, on a, um, uh, a residential, a seven day. And I start workshop in, a, in a, about an hour and a half. I start workshop. And I'm doing this video right now because I'm fucking motivated to do what I do because this means a lot to me. I told myself, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna put out four videos a week, I gotta put it in the work to do it. I gotta do it. I know that if I didn't do it, some guy out there, he wouldn't be going through videos today looking at stuff and get up on my and then not see my video and him see something else this specific thing there's a guy out there right now watching this I don't know who you are but you're watching this for a reason because this is a wake-up call for you to allow yourself to go within to see what is the reasons why you do what you do this is a wake-up call for yourself to be able to go inventory on yourself to see what is the thing that I need to do right now to be able to go for what I want what is the heart reason for me to do the thing that I do what do I need to connect to to be able to give me the drive and the passion in the moments that I don't feel like it? So I know if I wanted to pull out four videos a week, today will be my mix up video of the week. And my fourth video this week, I had to do it guys. I had to give you guys this video today because I knew that it was a commitment for me. Because I know that I'm committed to you guys and what I do is for you. You guys are a deep seated reason for what I do. And that's how I get the motivation to do it. So what are three things you can do right now to be able to motivate yourself in any moment you don't feel like it? That's what I'm going to give you now. The first thing is, what is your why? Connect to it. You want to be so connected to your why that it gives you the energy that you don't have in the moment that you need to do something. What is your why? Your heartfelt why. What is it? Connect to it in the moment you don't feel like doing something. Connect to it. Because it is there, and the moment you connect to it, it gives you the energy on the spot. That's what it does. It makes you go into a different state because now you're not fixated on, oh, I don't feel like doing this thing. Your focus shifts to, okay, now, right now, this is why I'm doing this. The second thing, 
I want you to do this thing here. I want you to say to yourself, what would happen if I didn't do this? What would happen if I absolutely right now did not do the thing that I need to do right now? What would happen if I didn't go to the gym right now? What would happen if I ate this meal right now? What would happen if I didn't go talk to this girl right now? What would happen to me? Where would I be as far as my growth? For what I want, where would I be? And that question always dawns on a person in that moment. It gives you a sense of urgency that if I didn't do this, I would be backtracking. And you need to have the sense of urgency that you're not here forever, man. You're not. So grind for what you do. Really grind for what you do by saying to yourself, what would happen if I didn't grind? What would happen right now if I didn't do this thing that I need to do? What would happen? And then live with that for a moment. Yeah, I wouldn't. That would happen, and absolutely, that'll get you to this. Will be the uh, result for this, and this will be the result for this. This will be if I take this action, I'll get this. If I take this action, I'll get this. And the third thing that I want you to do is to commit to the simplest action you can take from that moment to do the thing that you need to do. So let give let me give you an example. Let's say that you need to go approach a girl, and you're standing there. You see her, your heart starts to race. You start to think about all these thoughts about what if she doesn't like me, she's in a rush, uh, I'm not too, I'm not good looking enough, I'm not tall enough, whatever it may be. Now, in this moment, connect to the why of why you're doing this. I'm doing this because I want to be able to get women like that into my life. I want to be able to give the connection, uh, have the connection that I can have with women in my life like that. I want to be able to go up to that girl and, 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 and spark up her world in some way. I want to be able to go out there and get abundance of feminine in, in, in my life. I want to be able to have true love with somebody. So, that's the reason why for me doing this. What would happen if I didn't go through this? I mean, the girl may be left at this moment, but she's probably in sight. What would happen if I didn't do this? I would go back to being the same way I was. I would go back to being a man who never have women in his life. I would go back to being the guy who is always saying to himself every excuse besides doing the thing that he needs to do. What would happen if you completely didn't do the thing you need to do in this moment? It'll be like that. Now you can say, okay, what's the simplest action that I need to take in this moment for me to be able to go meet this girl? The thing, this most simplest action you can do is to go say hello. That is the most simplest action you can take. You want to take this action that's the most simple because if you try to say something like, all right, I'm going to try to go get this girl's number, or I'm going to try to go up and give her a compliment, it may just be too far outside of the energy that you have in the moment. Now, if you were connecting to your why in a good way, you will have gathered a lot of energy. But let's say that your why gave you only a little energy, just enough for you to go say hello. You want to go say hello. That'll be enough. Because once you start doing that small action, you'll start to build a momentum. Then from there, you can next, go to the next girl and you can say, hello, how are you? And then to the next girl, you can give a compliment. And each one, you start to build. And from that building process, it completely allows you to be somebody that goes for what he wants. You need to be able to take the small steps that you want to take to get the things that you want. That's everything from, okay, okay, right now I want to go to the gym, but I don't feel like it. Okay, what's the first thing you must do? Connect with your wife. What does my wife want to go to the gym? I know I want the vitality, I, know I want the energy. I want to be somebody that has a body that's attractive. I want to be someone that completely is doing the things that he needs to do to get the results he wants as far as his health and his fitness. I want to just be that kind of man. So the first thing you want to do after that is, what would happen if I just laid here and I didn't get up? I would, be, I would say the same thing that I am right now in this moment. But what can I do right now as a simple action for me to take? I can sit up. I can get out of the bed. I can start to put on my clothes. So the first action is to fucking sit up. The next action you can take, which will build momentum, put on your clothes. The next action you can take, put on your shoes. The next action you can take, where's the gym? Looking it up, whatever it may be, or just walking out of the door. Because you need to take the small steps to build momentum for you to be able to gather all of the momentum and the flow you need to be able to do the thing at its highest level. And from doing this process over and over and over, It'll just become, okay, uh, we're laying here, I know I gotta do this, if I don't do this and this, all right, I'm just gonna sit up. And then you naturally just go into it because it's not conscious anymore, it's just unconscious. That's what you wanna get to. You wanna get to a place where you don't have to consciously think about it anymore, 
it could just become unconscious where you're like, all right, I know if I don't do this, this won't happen. So if I sit up and do this, I know that I will start to get the energy because I've done this over and over and over. Now you have the memory in your body of when I do this thing and take this step, I'll get this action. And that process happens over and over and over until it becomes unconscious. And then you can just live it out anytime that you need it. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and I want you guys to really take a lot of what I said from this video. I love you guys so much and everything I do, I do for you. I want you to subscribe below to Essence of Solo. And I'm here in New York City. I'm in, I'm in America until the 1st of January. So if you want to do coaching with me, what I want you to do is go to naturallifestyles.com, put in an inquiry, Sean will get to you. You got to go to the contact page, put in an inquiry, Sean will get to you. And I hope to see you guys soon.